fast. So I'm much nicer queuing than the beta was. At least at this time of day. Uh, this is probably not how the game is meant to start. Um, I was just going to respond to something in uh, the Oceans and Evolution game Discord, and if it still hasn't started, I'll probably uh, clip and leave. I should start clipping now. See if I can still catch the uh, start of game. If not, I think it will be pretty telling anyway. Um, yes, this isn't working. Uh, I can't even open the menu. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly um, clip this. Uh, I'll be closing the game, obviously, uh, given that I can't access the menu. And uh, then I'll try and queue up for another one, I suppose. Will it close like this? It will, that's good. Um, hopefully I can still get a pretty quick uh, Q-pop. Yeah, it's a little bit sad that there's still so many bugs with um, multiplayer connections um, at release. It can be pretty tough to find them during beta. Once you start getting more players using the service, uh, things can work differently. Those guys are a pretty tiny development team. Um, hopefully they'll get it all sorted out. Yeah, so going first is um, always a pretty dangerous proposition. Uh, I'm just going to put the carnivore in. I'll make a second species, um, but I think that's it. I'm not willing to put anything more on the line than just uh, one card. 
usually that means if someone goes greedier than me and someone else makes a carnivore, uh, it's the greedier than me player who will be losing things and not me. I mean, also, I just really like the idea that I'm going to draw a corporation and set up a long neck into foraging chain. Hopefully this guy's just, like, on a really slow mobile device and the game is still loading for him. So if this was like a negative three, and that's a long net cooperation, um, that's pretty solid. I would probably go on for, um, if it is a cooperation, just like cooperation and nothing. If it's defensive trait cooperation, that's pretty good. Um, could be a fat tissue with a carnivore, could just be a fat tissue without a carnivore. Um, if it is a fat tissue carnivore, basically I'm guaranteed to lose both of these, because I don't think he'll be able to attack both of these. Um, it, it could just be a long neck horns. Putting in a long neck when you put in that four, it's a bit strange. Um, cooperation into nothing as last player. Again, like, you're not uh, managing to hide anything from the players after you. They can't see what you're doing. Um, that's a lot of pack huntings. I am going last. Uh, so I'm going to put in this pack hunting for three rather than the ambush for negative one. Uh, maybe gives me a chance to just put up four species and use them effectively. Uh, if uh, I don't sniff any carnivores out, then I'll probably do that. Got the four leftovers. This guy, uh, again with the uh, foraging that does nothing, uh, foraging should be here. Um, he can eat pretty fast, and if we put in something really low, that will be bad for the trying to make lots of species. It's just because it has long neck, I don't think it's a carnivore. And so if I had something higher, and by something higher I mean not this long neck to put in uh, with this plan, I would have done it just because both of these cooperations. I'm just kind of counting on the fact that there was four left over that uh, this three is enough. Again, borrowing is also higher, I, I needed that too. Now, this could be a carnivore. I'm hoping it's not a carnivore. Because uh, if it is, this is way too greedy and these are all dying. Um... Yeah. I hope not. Okay, the long neck is the carnival. Uh, well, he got me. Uh, so he might want to eat a borrower, or he might just want to attack me. Yeah, uh, I didn't see that coming. Maybe he just doesn't know how long neck and carnival work. Um, well, I'd like to thank him for eating the cooperator rather than two of my species and bringing this back to even. Uh, this gives me a chance to uh, draw into some defenses. Um, yeah, eating mine after it fed uh, is certainly reasonable to help to deal with um, the fact that this has got a fertile. Um, so the two climbings are good. Uh, I like the idea of having an intelligence. Um, I probably don't need this many fertiles, but I probably don't actually need heaps of food available. Um, I think I will put in the five foraging though. I think two is just a tiny bit low for me. 
Also, I'm strongly considering making a pack hunting carnivore, which is why I didn't really want to put in the carnivore or the pack hunting. I don't think I want to this round. And if I want to save the intelligence, I can't really put foraging out on either of these. Um, if I'd managed, if I'd had more time to think about that, I probably would have picked the two foraging instead of the five foraging in the end. Uh, five was five was overdoing it. Ah, if I'm going to make this into a carnivore, I can do this. I just want to make sure this guy does actually know about that interaction, because he hasn't replaced it yet. Uh, it looks like he's going to end up attacking this, because... no, he can't attack that, not big enough. So he's just going to be uh, attacking two of his own. Um, I'm happy with that outcome. Uh, so in terms of being able to attack things with my own carnivore, uh, this is looking like probably it's going to be one of my best targets uh, when I make one. Maybe this. Uh, this will take a little while to fill up. It'll be a pack hunting carnivore, so hard shell's not a bad um, thing. Uh, so yeah, if I draw either another pack hunting or another very low card next turn, I think I'll definitely put the very low card in, make this into a pack hunting carnivore, and see what happens. I um, hope it works out okay. Um, hello, Trestos. I'm not that used to streaming at the moment, so uh, apologies if it takes me a while to see things in the chat. I'm just not used to glancing down there while I'm playing games. It's hard enough remembering to talk to myself all the time. Yeah, I've been playing this uh, since the beta released. Plus, this guy should have eaten this first. Just, you know, if you can get the food, get the food. Don't leave it sitting there for everyone else. He was going to have to attack himself, but that was never going to change whether he ate or not. Um, so this just let everyone else get all the food. In fact, everyone else was always going to get all the food. He just left points on the table. Uh, I probably would have not extincted either of them, just kept them both alive. Um, well that's cool. Uh, I've got this zero carnivore and this three carnivore, so I'll put the zero in. Now if I wanted to be uh, super safe, I'd put up one of the long necks on here. Uh, but I reckon there's going to be food available, so I won't do that. Um, keeping the intelligence always a good idea. Um, so I really, really do want this to have six. Uh, I'm going to leave two cards in hand so that people think maybe I'm just, you know, running it as an intelligence and wanting a lot of food while there's none available. For this, uh, if, I, if I had to eat this, um, I would need to have a total of eight population and body size. But given how edible this is, if that's not a warning call, You know, maybe I should. Uh, if I eat this once, then I can still take this out. Um, it's good food. It's annoying that I had to use up both long necks and the intelligence for it. Um, it looks like I can fill up, it's fine. Happy I went to six now because of this defensive herding being on five. I uh, don't have to hit the horns. It basically doesn't matter what's over here. I can eat this before it burrows, and then I can eat the other five of this. Maybe not who I'd prefer to eat, but I at least know I have the possibility now. Um, yeah, before it burrows, is I can still forage with this, that's fine. Because my first uh, feeding does have to be this one. 
Um, for me, this is probably the last game. I have to get going to work, Trestos. Um, so, uh, sorry about that. We won't be able to play this time. It's, uh, I'm in uh, Adelaide, Australia, so for me right now, it's nearly 7am. I was just up pretty early, so I figured I'd stream a few games. Okay, so that's just a carnivore that doesn't have a lot of options. I think it can eat this. Um, it can eat into the horns that it can eat its uh, friend over there. Uh, this guy can only eat into those horns. Uh, so I have to be careful. Um, when I reduce this one's population enough, this one will be able to eat it. So I need to make sure I get something from other sources, from this or from this. Uh, so this guy extincting that means this guy has no targets. Given that it was uh, going to have to attack into horns anyway, that's a pretty smart move. Uh, I'm just checking how much is available. 13, this guy takes 6, this guy takes 3, that guy takes 4, that is all 13, so I will take it now. Uh, oh wait, this guy even has this one, yeah. Totally missed that. Uh, I probably could have waited one turn. Um, yeah, there's a zoom in this game, I just accidentally hit my right click sometimes. Too many mouse buttons while I'm trying to move my mouse. Um, cool, this is never going to fill up. Uh, that means I've got all of the options available. So, um, definitely one of my favourite things in this game is just uh, trying to make sure you have targets for a carnivore. So I want to reduce, um, this one's going to die anyway, so so is this one. Oh uh, no, wait, there's two food there. This one's going to die a lot. So I'm going to reduce uh, this one uh, just down to one population, where defensive herding becomes really ineffective. Foraging doesn't do anything for you. Ah, uh, unfortunately not down to one, because I forgot about this. He can start attacking it now. Uh, so I'll let him extinct it, I guess, and then I'll hit this one. That's still fine. I mentioned that early, and uh, totally forgot about it. Uh, so that carnivore's not dying anymore. It would have been nice if I could have just had that really low so I could attack it, but yeah, I forgot as soon as it was down at two. Uh, this guy gets to. Oh, and he gets to attack his own as well, so that's um, kind of convenient. I got to attack, uh, make a lot of things die by doing that. Didn't quite see it coming. Uh, someone who planned better would have maybe still done the same thing. So, uh, saving an ambush, always a nice idea. Uh, the climbing is the only thing that's really defending this species right now. Uh, I could put the ambush down just so I've uh, got something else that can attack. Um, it's kind of a tough choice here. Uh, given that I put in the negative three, I'm definitely not growing these at all. Uh, it's just, um, do I want to... So, this guy knows if he goes to four body size, I can't attack this. So I definitely think it's just worthwhile pushing this. Um, six body size hard shells still defend against this. Um, so I will just push it all the way to make sure hard shell's not a problem. Uh, going first with the carnivore doesn't necessarily go very well. If I have to eat into some horns, I might be able to. Uh, maybe those extra three cards I put in end up being completely wasted. I don't know. If someone can starve everyone and just like pull out an intelligence and eat a heap, uh, that'll be really good for them. I've by no means got this in the bag yet. Uh, based on what I'm seeing here, it might have been good if I'd had an ambush out. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to put it out yet. Uh, so far I'm liking this. That that gets me a lot of food. It's not a smart play. If you're going to lose a species, just leave it on a little bit of body size so you're not feeding the carnivore. If you're not quite sure of the mechanics of this game, when you attack with a carnivore, you get food equal to the body size of the prey. So this is just straight up going to give me five. It doesn't matter how well this guy defended, he's been let down by this guy. So right now this is burrowing and I'm going first. Um, if there's no food available, which is the plan, uh, I'll just be able to eat this anyway. 
if there's enough food that I know there's still some for me when it comes back to my turn, I can eat this first before it has a chance to burrow. Um, so eating that and that fills me up. Uh, there's definitely a chance that he puts up a warning call that I can't deal with. At this point I kind of hope there's a warning call over here now, because if I'd uh, shown by just replacing the climbing, um, then... Oh, nope, okay. So apparently that was stuck there. Uh, so there is currently 10 here. This guy can take 2, then 1, gets down to 7. He takes 2. Uh, what that means is I can totally kill off one of these burrowers, and then whichever of these burrowers isn't full, uh, maybe as well. So still, that's only our 2. Uh, 7, 6. Uh, next time this guy can only take 1, that guy takes 0, so I can just wait as long as I want for this. Means I can take this one out as well. So this is really poorly defended at the moment. Um, makes me kind of want to leave it there and hope I can still attack it next turn. Because these burrowings are just one long neck there, they're safe. I'm I'm not planning to attack this anytime soon, so I'm not sure why he didn't just take from the watering hole. I'm really not sure why he didn't take from the watering hole there. He spent one card to get one food that he could have just eaten from here. Um, that was just bad. Um, yeah, it doesn't make much sense not eating from here. Like, maybe he had some sort of UI glitch and he couldn't. Um, at this point, I have to eat one of these. Uh, neither of them are well defended. I think I will eat this one. Uh, yeah, okay, I didn't have to, I could have eaten this, but that doesn't make any sense. I mean, yes, there's five leftovers despite me putting in a negative three. Uh, I want to save this ambush, so I'm just going to put in this one with the pack hunting here. I'm not sure how much is going to be available to eat. So yeah, depending on what I see, uh, ambush if it looks like there's warning calls, fat tissues if it looks like there's heaps of really safe available food, um, if it looks like there's lots of small species I can eat, then scavenger with population here. Uh, if not, I can put up the cooperation and have the long neck give me the food and just put some more population in these. If I think everyone's really well defended, I can add population to this and boost its body size to 3, so I only have to attack it twice to fill up. Um, this guy's with the burrowing is going before me this turn, so those burrowings are very effective. And he's been playing fairly well, so I have to assume that I can't attack this. Yeah, as far as prey go, this guy's off the table. Okay, it's entirely plausible that this is a climbing. Um, I've got to stop right-clicking. Uh, that really does make me think that my best bet is to push this one's body size. Uh, he can still only eat it once. I'm not willing to push it to six to stop him uh, eating it. Because uh, that'll cost me three cards, uh, which are three that I could have spent on population to still be at the same population at the end. And I still need to add one population to it if I want to eat it um, that one time. There's very few cards that could be on this that would make it impossible for me to attack it. Um, I can eat that once if I absolutely have to. Um, so I'm not going to get to eat a lot with this. I don't need an ambush. I'm just trying to think what single card defense would be on it. Like maybe it's a horns. 
So I think I'm just going to uh, push that into population there. I can't add population to this. Um, it just doesn't help uh, because this guy will just eat it. So uh, that seems good. If he attacks it once, he attacks it once. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I figured. Like that's fine. He only has one population. Uh, so in the end, this guy put up a hard shell that doesn't matter. Oh, he can even attack this one once. Yeah, okay. Uh, whichever way, I think I'm still going to fill this up. There's too much food available for me not to. Uh, but I do want to hit one of these before they get a chance to be burrowed. Oh, this isn't even the final round. I was expecting that it was, I just wasn't paying attention, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'll take all of these. Um, the fact that he ate this means I don't actually have to eat one of the horns or my own species. So that is fine. Okay, again, um, there's a lot of food here. Part of me is planning to eat this anyway. He's not using a pack hunting, so I can actually defend with the oh, symbiosis. Uh, that's actually something I can do. If there's not going to be enough food available, uh, I can just have this intelligence here. Uh, because I've gone to six body size, he can't attack this. Uh, symbiosis is fine here, except it stops me attacking it as well. And I have to ask myself if that's worth it. The answer ends up being probably not. Uh, me being able to attack it is good. He's got four populations. I'm just going to make sure he can only attack it once. Just my other options are all him, which are... Actually, if I'm going to lose one population either way, I think it is better to do it the way I just did. Uh, if somehow there's not enough food here, the intelligence is uh, a good way to use my final card. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to attack him once for all the food. Uh, I get five, I lose a population. It's about equivalent to him attacking me and me losing a population. I'm not even sure if I expect this to be a pack hunting carnivore. an interesting defensive herding, given that we both have high population carnivores already. Oh, yeah, no, so attacking that's just bad. It's going to be much funnier when he has to attack his own horns. So uh, this guy should hit this. Oh man, he didn't want the funnies. Um, if I want a piece of this, I need to take it now, but I'm just going to take these, it's fine. So there not being enough food, this guy's actually going to fill this one up. I mean, uh, it'll probably be attacked once, but I don't think that'll bother him. Yes, um, it didn't matter who he attacked, um, I'm still winning the game. But it's like still good practice to try to attack the people who you think are doing the best that you can attack. Yeah, that's about how unbalanced this game felt. So instead of, you know, everyone else helping out the other player's carnivore, this time it was everyone just helping my carnivore. Um, yeah, hopefully at some point skill disparities will get worked out, the ranking system will split us apart, and we'll get more